what is that skinny human being doing? Hector! Is there no one else? At a measly 104 kilos. Cuba has messaged. Breakfast of champions, seven days out. It's f you are never as big as you think you are. Gang, here they are. Oh yeah, you actually look quite lean. Oh god! Oh, no wonder why you're bigger than Jack. <laughs> nice. Post-workout meal. Let's see it. You ain't fucking serious, mate. You ain't serious. What's up, gang? Oh my god. I know you're all thinking, what is that skinny human being doing with zero clothes on and a beanie hat? Prep. Prep is the only answer I can give you. We are officially, wait for it, do you want to give me a drum roll? Some days out. This time next week, we will probably be at the venue. I'll be tanned, war paint will be on, I'll be full of food, ready to do the battle. Hector! Hector! Is there no one else? And this one is having her food push today because she's a skinny mini. Mm. Mads is pretty much on prep as well, so for everyone that um, obviously follows the social, you know that since the injury um, we've been mainly focusing on her recovery and her rehab. To do that we need to have her food uh, very, very good, in a good position, more sort of just on the cusp of maintenance, a little bit over surplus, but ensuring that all her healthy fats are in, she was in a position where her body was able to actually respond in a healthy manner. Since then, ridiculously she's lost Skinnier. she's lost an enormous amount of weight um composition is absolutely incredible she's obviously her strength has skyrocketed as well because we've taken all of her movements back um to basics basically taught her how to walk again um and the look is just very very good however due to the fact that now her body the metabolic flexibility is really settled. Her body's really settled into the food. She's she she is actually feeling and behaving like I am. She's she's worn. She's tired. She's hankering for food, um, which isn't really where we want her at this stage. If I'm honest, um, certainly now her training's back going. We've got no need to hold her on this on this food. So we did a check in on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Really really happy. We're gonna assess this morning. Um, weight is down again. Yeah again so the food's going up today um not by a drastic amount but um but we'll put we're going to put her calories up across the board let her settle in for this week um and then assess next week but it's probably a good time as well because hoping see what kuba says to the check-in this morning but we should start now we've started pulling back on expenditure gym expenditure steps etc i'm on eight thousand steps a day one working set on everything. Um, I'm I'm expecting over the next, well, I'd love it if today he started trickling some more food in, but realistically over the next couple of days, that should be the reality. We are gonna take you along for the ride though. Every single day, we're just gonna put a short, sharp video of exactly what Peak Week is made up of. Hold the phone, I look like a crackhead, man. You know, you're doing D volume today. D volume today, we got push today uh, in Muscle Works. Um, so the split will be push today, pull tomorrow, uh, which will be Monday, and then push Tuesday, no, rest, rest Tuesday. rest Tuesday, push Wednesday, pull Thursday, I got through that without fucking it up, that was good. So, stay tuned, check in. Shh. Go on then. Course check in this morning at a measly 104 kilos. That's good though. Ready? Fuck yeah. The rope. Let's fucking do this. Oh, you've got a little puddle on your platform. 
three, two, one. Good luck. Nice. Nice. Super smart, lads. Look at that smile. Oh! Does she approve? I just want bigger legs. Okay. Good day. To the leg shop. Out on the morning jaunt. It's been our walk for the past forever. Mads is uh, sending her check into the boss like a good little girl. All right. You ain't having any changes <laughs> if you ain't checking in. Otherwise, you can just fucking starve, mate. Do that I wouldn't do that too, no. But I also won't be changing your food if you don't check in, so. We um, <laughs> steps below 8,000 steps at this very moment in time. Um, this track that we walk daily, um, if we do one lap, makes up like 3,500, which is literally perfect. So sets us off for the day. And then on training days, that I literally probably won't even have to move. Um, on rest days, I try and keep myself a little bit more active. I, um, I was explaining on the leg day video we just shot with Jack, uh, if you haven't seen yet, go back and watch it after this, um, about what I've been doing to fill my time and my mental anxiety around being hungry and bored. Um, I'm super on top of my work at the moment, so I find myself just sat there twiddling my thumbs sometimes. Um, so I've become a bit of a domestic god. I clean the house every single day. Like literally top to bottom. Um, which keeps me my... I feel scared to put something down. Someone's lit a fire. <laughs> Fucking rank. So, uh, so that's how I film my steps on rest days. Just staying on my feet. A couple of loads of laundry. Right. Empty the dishwasher. Hoover the house. Clean the kitchen. Change the bed sheets. All that shit. Bed sheets. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We sleep on the floor, don't we? <laughs> um, so we were uh, come do our morning walk in the morning. But I think it's. Uh, I think it's been really nice. Yeah, it is. Like. I've noted to be fair, although I'm a stroppy fucker, like, I don't think I've ever felt as close to Madge just being able to, like, get out and spend some one-on-one -on -one time with her without any other influence getting involved. Obviously, we're, we're extremely busy with clients now. Um, we have got a lot going on. Um, we put ourselves in that position, so, because we're we're ambitious and we want to want to do things and make moves and hit our goals etc but this is half an hour to an hour's worth of our day where it can just be me and me and mads which is nice and you guys this morning so lucky you when uh when you finish throwing up i'll uh i'll give you a pan amigo <laughs> I wonder if that was still. So, we're going to crack on with the rest of this walk. 
finish off our applies for this AM and wait for the check-ins to start rolling. Maybe show them what food looks like seven days out. Food looks like yeah. seven days out, yeah. We uh, worked my macros out, didn't we, the other day? Yeah. We are sat. Have you got them? Yeah, I'm going to tell you my macros. One of my clients, Robbie, said, just out of interest, mate, how much are you eating at the moment? And I was like, why would you ask me that? Because I can't tell him to fuck off, obviously, but I, like, I just really don't want to know. Do you know what I mean? Your training day was 2,900 calories. Training day was 2,900 calories. 420 grams of carbs. 420 grams of carbs. And it was like 260 protein. Can't remember. Yeah, and then literally very, very low fat. So, 30 grams of fat. 30 grams of fat. And that was all from natural sources, so nothing good though. It's mad to think how conditioned I am, like, and the way that we've approached, way that I've approached prep previously, to now being a week out, eating over 400 grams of carbs a day, doing 8,000 steps, and being in the best shape of my life. It's uh, it's a game changer. I've learned so much as prep about myself. I think we've matured an awful lot, haven't we? and learn a lot as well so we're gonna uh we're gonna crack on crack on with the rest of this walk 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 and wait for the boss to message me back give me the order of instructions today yes sir kuba has messaged pretty much as soon as i put the camera down to be fair come on then well, so the game plan is set for training uh, obviously you're doing push wednesday thursday pull the rest friday saturday um Rest Friday and Saturday. Uh, the game plan is set, mate. From here, we're just cruising in steps, no more than 8,000 per day. For now, mate, no food changes. We we'll keep moving, mate. We we'll look better for sure. Uh, and like the hoodies, probably from Wednesday, we'll start eating up into the show as well. Uh, mate, Matt, Tuesday, we'll see how you look. No food changes for Corey. Fuck! Knew I should have done some extra steps just. So, gang, here it is. Breakfast of champions, seven days out. We have cream of rice by complete strength, 80 grams with 100 grams of apple. We have 120 grams of egg whites with the whole egg and a shitload of ketchup. And a coffee made by this beautiful human. Macros will be on the screen now. My breakfast. I think Corey attempted a smiling face, but I think that just reflects his prep mood. <laughs> I've got three whole eggs, 10 grams of coconut oil, 50 grams of oats, and 100 grams of fruit, which is absolutely fucking unreal. And a coffee. And... Shh! Corey, thanks for that. Just Can I eat now? Macros on the screen. Mm. Meal two, 50 grams of pasta, 100 grams of chicken, 20 grams of nuts, and 50 grams of dolmio. All the sauce, all the sauce. Mm. What a lean. Slee has got 50 grams of pasta, 200 grams of chicken, 100 grams of sauce, raw sauce. Same carbs as me, yeah? Fuck off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Pre now going in, we have 100 grams cream of rice by complete strength with 200 grams of chicken and ketchup. And this one, talk to me about your food. I've got 60 grams of cocoa pops. Yep. 100 grams of fruit. Yep. Raspberries. Yeah. 20 grams of dark chocolate. Yeah. And 100 grams of chicken and some ketchup. Matt goes on the screen. Mm. Put your thumbs up. Boy, 
couple's date. We're having a couple date in the gym. Corey's um one of Corey's classic boys, Jack Jackson, who is yet to hit the stage, but he's a fucking mutant. Um is um is training with us today and my client Grace, who happens to be his girlfriend, is also training with us today and it's quite nice because we're training push and my session is slightly different to Corey's, it's more delt focused, which we touched on now, that's YouTube. Um so Grace will be able to come with me and do a little bit a little bit more work with me and Jack will be able to concentrate and um, staying with Corey and doing a little bit more chest focused stuff so it should work out quite nicely. But these two these two have been with us quite a long time now and have made amazing progress and it's it's so nice because they approached us and said, you know what? We'd love to have a session with you. We want to learn from you. We want to jump in and and just just have a session with you and absorb what's going on. And anyone and we said this before with Daryl, like anyone who wants to do that and is committed and wants to be a student and wants to learn and wants to join in with us and and just crack on and and learn something and put the money where the mouth is a little bit. Like we welcome that so much. So super looking forward to this session. I'm just trying to drink my pre-workout, but it's very full. <laughs> taste what have you got what's well in, it does what's taste nice bottle? it's just a lot of it what's in the bottle this is complete strength goat pumps it's very nice just as long as you don't have half a liter of it <laughs> oh no Corey just had like a full one fucking idiot <laughs> <laughs> but we're it'll be good i'm looking forward to it any final words Paul? good luck bring the pain bring the pain Corey's repping hard, he's very black and red today, look. He's even got, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got his basketball vest on and he's got matching socks. I brought, um, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like I've got a fucking basketball practice after this. I brought Jack a raw coaching vest, so I'm going to try and get him in it and then get a picture. He's, to be fair, the boy's fucking huge, like, he's a big lump. I'm looking forward to dropping him into pregnancy, yeah. very much so. Be good. He, do you know what? What's what's nice is he's just a fucking doer. Like he doesn't he doesn't deviate. All of our clients have full explanation and debrief on changes, why changes are being made, and also expectations. So they've got a mini goal to work towards, whether that be for three days or a week or however long we we expect that change to to materialise. And he goes away, executes, come back, and it's just like, nice. There we go. Every single fucking time. Um, and it's just going to be a joy to joy to get him on stage. Because it's been a long process as well. Like, he started he started in a progression phase of me. Wasn't in, wasn't amazing. And he's just mutated and got better and better. The more we've pushed him, the better he looks. Um, and it puts us in a great position for prep. Going to, um, we're going to push him for another um, sort of six, potentially eight weeks. Um, then we're going to do a, a hold phase whereby we look to just improve his composition through almost maintaining where he's at. A lot like what we've done with Maddie in all fairness, um, where we, we're not going to be overzealous with the food, um, but just clean his composition up slightly just before Christmas, allow him to have a couple of weeks just rebuilding, getting fresh and then we drop them into prep. Um, and then, again, that'll just be so much better. I, the post that comes out, that's coming out on Instagram today, is actually my transformation for this entire prep. 14 weeks, I've gone from 121 kilos to 104. Like, it's f you are never as big as you think you are. And not only that, my prep has been, probably say, relatively smooth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've seen the food that we've eaten so far, guys, and we'll go through the rest for the rest of the day. But 400, mid 450, 420 grams of carbs daily, seven days out from your show, and I am fucking lean. Like, that's because we nailed off season and started prepping a good position. So, um, yeah. So that's so. the aim with Jack, but we're gonna, we're nearly there now, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna film a bit of the session. If Slag! We, Corey. What the fuck was that? If we can make it there without having an fucking accident hell. or a fight, and. Mate. See you on the inside. Shut your fucking head in. Corey. Work. This never works. Ever. Shoes don't pay our membership, huh? <laughs> I 
Oh, mate. I've got your card, Corey, so it doesn't work. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, nice to see you. Jack looking hench. <laughs> That's why Corey's got a big round neck on. Huh? It's only 2XL, but... Are you funny? <laughs> I'm joking. Gang, here they are. Couple goals, 101. <laughs> I'm going to superimpose a raw coach inside there, but don't worry, because as I said to you in the car, I've got them in extra small vest. And this one, of Gracie, she's mad to climb. So we're going to hit push today. Jack's going to put me through it because I'm a week out from my show, so I'm allowed to be tired, I'm allowed to be worn out. But this fucking, look at this like, wide lens, just like wide lens. <laughs> uh, it's really fucking hot. I tried to put my arm around him, I was like, oh mate, this is going to be a long fucking morning. But we're going to get on with push, we're going to start, start getting warmed up, and then we'll interrogate him as we go on. Come on then. Causing a deload session today, so she's got one set on this. Good set. Dead stop. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four, two. Good. One, two, three, four, three. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Good. One, two, three, four. Good. Five. Slow it down a touch. One, two, three, four. Good. Come on then. One, two, three, four. Up. Come on then. One, two, three, four. Up. Up. Get it. Get it. Yep. Come on then. Slow. One, two, three, four. Good. What's that? That's nice, actually. Is it? Oh, right, yeah. I'll spot that as well. No spot. Fucking spot. Right, so what we're focusing on here, this is Jack's top set. Um, so we're looking for a good set of eight. Um, he's very, very strong. We just touched three plates, made it like fucking fresh air. So we're focusing here on driving through the feet. Being venomous with the, uh, with the breathing technique, so like big, big air in for a four second century. When you hit the bottom, micro pause, shh, drive out, strong as fuck. So we're going to come from the diaphragm's ability to brace. Um, but it's fucking strong, so let's see it. Let's go, brother. the girls are getting on, shall we? Oh yeah, you actually look quite lean. Oh god! Alright, alright, yeah, yeah, alright, you can stop now. <laughs> Pass, give Grace her fucking dumbbells. Come on, Grace. Fucking hell, mate. My fan is waiting. I've got one viewer on this channel, you're about to lose them if you don't do something. But that's the how you use it, alright, cool. I'll allow it. So what are we focusing on here, Mads? Yep. One, 
two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four. Unreal, Grace. No wonder why you're bigger than Jack. <laughs> so, three exercises in. Jack is on his back off set for floor press. I think he's beat me on every single exercise so far. As you can see, I've still got my jumper on. I'm refusing to take it off. I've got my basketball kit on today, ready for practice after, but I'm not getting my vest out whilst he's in the same room as me. But Jack is gonna show you a perfect floor press now, and Mads is gonna count him. Brace hard, big dog. Yes. Breathe hard, Jack. Brace hard. Yes, there we go. Yes, there it is. Come on in. Tell the viewers how that felt. <laughs> Definitely not taking my best off now. So, Jack, here he is, posing in the mirror. Jack, um, Jack said he's super, he feels like a super trap dominant on this, so Paul is just trying to show him here how we should execute this movement properly. So, chest up slightly, arms slightly in front of the body, extending the arms down like you're punching the floor, really extending that delt and thinking out and not up. So really like you're trying to scrape the walls to the side of you with your knuckles and thinking out, chest up slightly. Problem is, if you round over and duck your head forward, you will use your traps and upper back with this movement a lot. So we want to be targeting the really, really targeting the side delt here. So Corey actually doing a perfect example. Come on then. Nice. Again, up. Squeeze at the top. One, two, three, four. Up. Good example why you're a bit lean, Paul. You can actually see your delts working. Up. Nice. Up. Out, 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 out. Good. And again. Up. So now going to be perfectly performed by Jack. Corey. Right, Jack, put it down. Chest up. Chest up. There. Better. All that, all that. All that. Out, 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 out. There. Keep that chest up. Three, three, good. Good. Come all the way. Up. Up, 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 up. There. Two, three, four, out. Better. Out, out, five, five. out, out. Good. Extend that delt down, Jack. Down. Out. Out, out, out. Good. Good. One, two, three. Keep that chest up. Up. Good. Eight, eight. There we fucking go. One, two, three, four. Come on. Nine, nine. Yeah. Good. Good. Shoulders down, shoulders down. Out, out, out. Good. Go again. Come on. Chest up, Jack, you're losing it. There. Up. Come on. Chest up. Out. Come on. All the way, all the way, all the way. Now slow on the way down. Good. You feel the difference? <laughs> Looks fuming. <laughs> so the vest came out. Of course it did. A week out and I've got abs, so of course the best came out. Even though he's fucking ginormous. We got it out. Jack's like a like a classic bodybuilding Pokemon card. Mate, guy's a fucking big geezer. Looking forward to getting him on uh, 
on stage next year. Got the whole gang, Grace, Mads, putting the boy through the work. He is fucking, he's having a great time. Front double bicep, hit it, front double bow. Uh, <laughs> I'll get it out of him. No, good session. I'm just wrapping up now. I think we're gonna go do a little bit of posing. I wanna put Jack through it. I need to go through a bit of posing myself as well. Just touch up some routine. And then, time to eat. So my cushion is... Bigger. There you go. Slowly forward. There you go. Front to the back now. Slight like bend in the knees, adduct. Yeah, that's nice. Chest up. Good, yes. Good. Come round a little. Come round to me. Yeah, so Tip. just hold that. Three, two, one. Nice. So I try. There it is. Yes, nice. Tip back a touch. Yeah. Lovely work. That spread. Open that. Open that. That's nice more. Nice. Good. Yeah, nice bend in the knee. Good. And next. So we're all a bit fucked. Corey's just done his routine. Jack cried. But we're not going to show yeah, you that yet. And Grace cried. No. Yeah, they all cried. They I'm all not... cried, even I cried. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they thought it was amazing or they thought it was but sad watching a bodybuilder so... <laughs> Trying his best. <laughs> Trying to dance. Trying to dance. It was good though, we've had a good session. I don't know how long we've been here. However... Do you know what? I, can't, I cannot say how valuable or invaluable spending time with good, genuine people actually is. Like, clients or not, raw coaching gang or not, it goes across the board and I'm very, very grateful. Certainly today, I think being a week out, being vulnerable, being a little bit sensitive, tongue, tired, hungry, it's, um, it's been a blessing. So, much love, Jay. Thank you. Grace? Thanks for coming. We're Thank never we're never training again until I'm about 130 kilos, and then I might consider it. But did you enjoy today? I did. I, I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Hey, that's something. Did you pay her to say that? <laughs> no. Because there's no more brown brown envelopes in the bag. <laughs> no, it's been really nice to have Jack and Grace down and just do our thing, really. Yeah, it is. I'm looking forward to um, Jack prepping in the new year. And then um, Grace to. continuing to get hench. Jack's like Jack's like my little I say my little my like my like um rare Pokemon card that I'm gonna bring out at a big jewel. I've never played Pokemon in my life, I think that's what they do. But I'm gonna drop Jack in in the jewel at two bros in the new year and take the fucking roof off the gaff. On that note. Peace. I'm gonna go and eat. Yeah. Oh God, look at the state of me. Frazzled. Right. You look beautiful. We're back. Post push, post workout meal. Let's see it. So we have 120 cream of rice, complete strength. 200 grams of chicken with ketchup, of course, magnifique. We have 100 grams of strawberries. We have 60 grams of Cocoa Pops, 100 grams of raspberries, 20 grams of dark chocolate, 100 measly grams of chicken, and a beautiful human being. Ha! Ah, macros will be on the screen. Point somewhere? Nah. <laughs> Eat up, baby. Always making our meal number uh, number five. <laughs> dos, dos, number dos. It's just to be honest, it just looks like it's butchering that fucking chicken. I, I like mine. cutting it up. Fuck me. The question, guys. He wants it pre-chewed before he chews it. Question, just to, question um, for the watch. Just to make sure that it digests properly. Question for the watcher. There's a blender in the cupboard, call. Question for the watcher. 
at this very moment in time, do you mm. cut your spaghetti bolognese up or do you... No, they probably just have like normal pasta if they want it in little bits, babe. Whatever. I don't care what anybody else wants. <laughs> I don't care what you want. But, quite simply, meal numero dos, I think it's dos. Five, yeah. Five. Um, is, again, 50 grams, I'm sweating from the bath. Mm. We just had a bath, Sunday ritual. Um, it's 50 grams of pasta, 200 grams of chicken, 100 grams of dolmio sauce. Mix that up. This is the dawn in it on prep, babe. It's, do you know what, right? The love I have for dolmio sauce with chicken. For some reason, like, just sets it off, mate. Sets it off. So, I have that. Mad size 50, 50 chicken. No, 100 chicken. No, I have mince. Oh, you have a mince there? Mm. Alright, start that again then. So. Mad size. So, meal five. For Mads, she has 50 grams of chicken. Oh. Start that again. So, meal five. Mads has 50 grams of pasta, 100 grams of mince, but way out how we've made it in bulk is 112, 113. Because we have sauce. 112. And you have 20 grams of almond butter. And we've just had this bad boy delivered, you don't know. If you ain't on Amazon getting your kilo of almond butter, you're doing it wrong. You ain't fucking serious, mate. You ain't serious. So, last meal going down. Mads has got 100 grams of steak with a bagel thin. I have got 200 grams of steak with what looks like a lifetime supply of asparagus. Macros are going up there. And daily macros, daily food intake for me and Mads are going to go there. And there. I hope you've all enjoyed watching. We are hitting or approaching peak week officially tomorrow, which will be Monday, which I say is six days out. Six fucking days. Stay tuned. Peace.